Endometrial adenocarcinoma is a malignant glandular tumor with variable architectural patterns and sometimes associated with solid growth. It is typically associated with unopposed estrogen stimulation. Macroscopically, it looks like polypoid exophytic mass, which is more frequently in the posterior wall of the uterus. Microscopically, it typically resembles proliferative phase endometrium. Uh, however, uh, the endometrial glands are atypical. They are back-to-back, -back, tightly packed uh, without intervening endometrial stroma. And uh, we can see invasive type of growth. Endometrial adenocarcinoma is often associated with adjacent endometrial intraepithelial neoplasia or atypical hyperplasia, which is precancerous uh, lesion, and uh, it can progress to endometrial adenocarcinoma. Uh, based on the histological features and uh, based on the amount of adenomatous or glandular component, uh, we can grade the tumor into uh, FIGO grade 1 to 3. When we have less than 5% of the solid growth, uh, we can diagnose the grade 1 endometrial adenocarcinoma when there is 6 to 50 percent of the solid growth uh, that is grade 2 and uh, if we have more than 50 percent of the solid component that is grade 3. So this is the typical appearance of the well differentiated grade 1 endometrial carcinoma. The endometrial glands are irregular, complex, and they are back-to-back. -back. Uh, we don't see any intervening endometrial stroma, and that is typical for invasive growth, and this, it is typical for endometrial carcinoma. The epithelium is pseudostratified. It slightly resembles proliferative type of endometrial epithelium. However, it is associated with cytomorphological atypia. Uh, we see much more mitotic figures. Uh, we see irregular chromatin pattern, some hyper chromasia of the nuclei. Sometimes we can uh, find the prominent nucleoli. Not always, but very often we can find some foci of squamous metaplasia, which is quite a useful sign. Uh, that's what we uh, see here, a very small foci of squamous metaplasia. However, we need to be careful because squamous metaplasia is uh, uh, sometimes associated with uh, benign endometrial changes. So here we have an example of the stromal component. And uh, next to the stromal component, we can see cribriform formation and back-to-back -back glands, uh, which is again typical for the adenocarcinoma. Thanks for watching.